There's a shakeup at McDonald's going on. The fast food giant fired its CEO amid his consensual relationship with an employee. Grady Trimble is live this morning from McDonald's headquarters in Chicago. He has more on that. Grady, good morning to you. Maria, good morning. McDonald's conducted an investigation, and what they found is that Easterbrook had a consensual relationship with a current employee, and that violated company policy. The company says that Easterbrook demonstrated poor judgment by having that relationship, but when we asked for further details about what the relationship was, they declined to comment. An attorney for Easterbrook also declined to comment any further on that relationship, only offering this statement. Mr. Easterbrook acknowledges his error in judgment and supports the company's decision. He will not be commenting further at this time. It's important to note shares doubled under Easterbrook since he took over as CEO back in 2015. So it's been a decent five years for McDonald's, but the past few months have uh, showed some signs of trouble. Most recently, shares dropped as much as 10%. In the third quarter, uh, McDonald's reported earnings that were far less than what uh, analysts had expected. And when they announced the resignation and the departure of uh, Easterbrook, McDonald's also quickly announced his replacement, Chris Kempchinski. He oversaw U.S. operations for McDonald's. Now he takes over at a time where the company is facing some struggles, as we mentioned, including stagnating traffic in its stores, as well as competition because people are seeking healthier options for food. And also there's delivery that McDonald's has had to contend with as well. Maria? All right, Grady. Thanks so much. Grady Trimble. There.